Cichlids are known for large personalities. Unfortunately, most of them get very large too. A possible solution to that is the polar blue parrot cichlid. In this video, I discuss my top 5 reasons to get a polar blue parrot. Hi, I'm Connor. Welcome to my channel. I've been keeping polar parrots for over a year now. I initially got them because I had blood parrots, enjoyed them, and I saw polar parrots in a store and them being a relatively new species in the hobby, I was very curious about keeping them myself. Now, over a year later, they are one of my favorite species I've ever kept. And in this video, I want to share the top reasons for that and why you might enjoy keeping them yourself. Number one, a small fish with a large personality. On average, polar blue parrots get to three or four inches long. Even though this is smaller than most cichlids, they have the personality traits as larger ones such as blood parrots or oscars. For example, they will interact with all other species in the tank. This includes chasing smaller fish, picking out territories, and defending their favorite cave of the tank. And if you have multiple polar blue parrots, you will begin to see a clear dominance hierarchy as they grow up. Number 2. Fast Growers Although they do not get that big, they reach their maximum size pretty quickly. I've had polar parrots grow up from 3 quarters of an inch to 3 inches in about 6 months before. On average, I'd say they grow about a quarter to a half inch per month. This might not sound like that much, but there is a very noticeable change from month to month that you can see before your very eyes. This is exciting to me because I like to see a fish evolve right before me. If you buy them at about 1 inch, you can expect them to be full size about 6 to 9 months later. Fast growth also has the benefit of not needing to purchase adult fish, which saves you money. Before we go on to the next group of reasons, I want to thank you for checking out the video. If you are enjoying it, a like for the algorithm is very appreciated. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see future videos on polar parrots, other species I keep, and my overall aquarium adventures. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Number 3. Extremely social with others. I've kept a number of fish that come right up to the tank when I am near it. For example, angelfish, clown loaches, goldfish, and blood parrots to name a few. However, the species that always comes up and is filled with so much energy whenever I do is polar blue parrots. So if you want a fish that will greet you every time you come into the tank and just be filled with energy, polar blue parrots are a great option. Number 4. They are easy to breed. Unlike other hybrid species such as blood parrots, Many polar blue parrot males are fertile. One of the species they descend from are convict cichlids who are known for easy breeding. Polar parrots also possess this quality. Not much is needed other than a clean tank, a male and female, and some type of cave. They will also protect their young, resulting in many living. This can be a great option for someone who is wanting to try breeding but wants to level up from simple live bears. Number five, mini flower horns. After keeping them for some time, I've noticed male polar parrots are quite similar to flower horns, except at a much smaller size. Males can even grow a pretty nice neutral hump, and they are a very colorful species with a cool pattern. As I said before, they are super friendly to owners, which is a quality of flower horns but they also possess some aggression with them towards tank mates. I've heard stories of people having polar parrots that can't be kept with any other species in the tank, so this very much leads them to almost end up like mini flower horns. It also would not surprise me if they continue to be bred for larger and larger neutral humps. If you have always wanted a flower horn, but cannot have a tank the size to support them, I think keeping a male alone in a 20 or 30 gallon is a good option to replace them. Hence the name, Mini Flower Horns. That wraps up my top five reasons why you might want to get a polar parrot yourself. With any species, make sure you do additional research to ensure they are right before you, especially if mixing with other tank mates. I have several other videos on polar parrots on my channel, but feel free to ask me questions directly and I'll be sure to get back to you. Anyway, if you liked the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch everyone next time.